Time again for your COVID-19 questions and Dr. Lenora Saxinger is back with us to help us answer some of those questions. Hello again, uh, Dr. Saxinger. We'll start with a question about the V word. Uh, when is a vaccine going to be ready and what is the current status of development? So this is a very active area right now. There is well over 140 vaccines in trials. I think there's at least six or seven in phase two, three trials and there's some front runners. Um, I actually think that the best we would imagine would actually really be in early 2021 to have a vaccine that's been tested fully. I would be happy to be proven wrong about that, but I think that we really want to make sure that they go through all the stages to make sure that the vaccine is safe and effective before, before licensing it. And we might actually end up with more than one vaccine, actually, and I think that would be fine. I think that would be excellent. Right. And so in the meantime, though, until we get to early next year, hand hygiene, physical distancing, all those remain of the uh, the utmost importance. Uh, another question for you. Is Canada in a good place as far as vaccine procurement when a vaccine becomes available? And of course, we heard the news today about the deals with uh, Johnson & Johnson and Novavax. Right. And I think that um, there's a lot of jockeying for position with the available vaccine candidates and everyone's trying to bet on winning horses, so to speak. Um, I think it's important to have a number of different options available. And another option that we shouldn't forget about is the possibility of home manufacture uh, by getting a license to manufacture. So I, I think it's kind of early to tell, but my overall feeling is that the appropriate steps are being taken and that you have to just be prudent and try to get in there as soon as it seems reasonable to uh, line up some vaccine, recognizing that that might not end up being a candidate that um, works very well in phase three trials. And is it possible that, I mean, all four of the deals that Canada has, that they, that they all might fail? All, none of the vaccines work? I guess it's possible, but I don't think it's probable. I think that most of the data so far on all the different vaccine platforms is mostly encouraging that there will be effectiveness. Um, the degree of effectiveness and which group it might work best in might vary between vaccines. And so I think having more than one option is a good idea. And I'm actually still very optimistic that there will be effective vaccines reasonably soon, especially given that the pandemic isn't that old already. Last question. We've got about 30 seconds for it. Could getting the flu vaccine this year potentially increase the likelihood of acquiring COVID-19? That seems awfully unlikely to me for a whole bunch of different reasons. Um, they're very unrelated viruses. They are transmitted in a similar way. And so the things we do to prevent flu should also help prevent COVID. Um, but I could see no reason why a flu vaccine would impact your likelihood to get COVID-19. And in fact, we're hoping for a light flu season if everyone's doing everything the way that we hope they are, honestly. Okay, well, that's a question we've gotten an awful lot, so I'm glad you were able to take that one on. Dr. Saxinger, always good to have you on the program. Thanks so much. Thanks.